Blood Red Harvest, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. The tomato vines had always been a source of pride for Agnes. They sprawled across her garden, their emerald leaves heavy with plump crimson fruit. But this year, something was different. The tomatoes were bigger, their skins slicker, and their scent, usually earthy and sweet, now carried a faint metallic tang. Agnes, a woman who believed in the power of a well-tended garden, dismissed it as a quirk of the season. But as the days grew colder and the leaves started to turn, the tomatoes seemed to pulsate with a sinister life. They pulsed with a faint, almost imperceptible beat, a rhythm that echoed in the silence of the night. One morning, her neighbor, Mr. Finch, stumbled into her porch, his face contorted in pain. Tomatoes, they... He gasped, pointing a trembling finger towards her garden. He clutched his chest, his eyes wide with fear, before collapsing on the porch, a single crimson stain blooming on his shirt. Agnes stood frozen, the scent of blood and ripening tomatoes filling her nostrils. She cautiously approached the garden, the vines, once vibrant, now throbbed with an unsettling, almost predatory energy. As she drew closer, the tomatoes seemed to watch her, their dark, unblinking eyes reflecting the morning light. A low, guttural rumble resonated from the depths of the garden, a sound like a thousand hearts beating in unison. Panic clawed at her, but she had to know. She reached out with a hesitant hand, brushing against a smooth, wet skin. In an instant, the tomato twitched, its stalk whipping around like a venomous snake. Before she could scream, a sharp, searing pain ripped through her hand. Her blood, a dark, viscous fluid, mixed with the crimson juice of the tomato. It was at that moment she understood. The tomatoes were not just growing bigger. They were alive. They thirsted for blood. Agnes ran, the tomatoes chasing her, the red, pulpy bodies bouncing over the rough terrain. They oozed and slithered, their stalks beating against the ground, their eyes now black and bottomless, fixed on their prey. The air filled with the chorus of the tomato plant's guttural cries, a symphony of hunger and malice. Her neighbors, the townsfolk, gathered, their faces a mixture of fear and disbelief. They watched as Agnes, desperate and wounded, fought her way through the murderous vines. They knew now the truth that had been hidden beneath the surface, the truth that lurked within their own gardens. The once peaceful town was now a battleground. The air was thick with the smell of blood and ripe tomatoes, a macabre, intoxicating aroma. The tomatoes, once a symbol of bounty and joy, had become a terrifying, relentless force, their hunger insatiable, their thirst for human blood ever-growing. The townsfolk, armed with whatever they could find, fought back, but they were no match for the relentless, relentless tide of red. The killer tomatoes, a silent, gruesome army, spread their dominion, claiming the town as their own, turning the once vibrant landscape into a silent, crimson graveyard. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with chills unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.